Hi guys, I'm Dave, and welcome to Beer Virtually. Today we have a beer from Shiner. Um, if you're not familiar with Shiner, Shiner Bach is probably their most famous beer. And they do a couple other beers that are also really good. They do a, uh, a grapefruit. Um, there's a couple, uh, they do a couple of, they, it's a pretty small offering that they offer, but everything, I, I'm a big fan of everything that I've had of theirs. Today we have a summer seasonal, even though it's still winter, so I'm not sure what they're thinking is with releasing this now, but um, it's called uh, Shiner Strawberry Blonde. So back in the day when I was probably first able to drink, there was a beer called Peach Wicked Ale, and they had a strawberry blonde. It was really good. It's a blonde ale with just a hint of strawberry. Oh, wow, I can already smell the strawberry. Cool cap. It says Shiner Strawberry Blonde on it. Definitely strawberry smell. I'm expecting a light pour. Yeah, light, light pour. Little to no head. Uh, maybe a little more golden than I expected. Very clear. Well filtered. Let's take first sip. That is um, a very average beer with a cool strawberry flavor. Other than the strawberry flavor though, there is not a lot going on with this beer. It's very monotone. The strawberry makes it quite refreshing though. 4.3% ABV on this one, so it's easy drinking. 11 IBUs, very, very low, on the sweet side almost. Eight ninety nine a six pack, maybe a little high for this even, but it is Shiner, so we don't get you know it's not like a local. I think it's a fairly small brewery, and so to get it in Florida, you're gonna pay a little more, I guess. <clears throat> cool label. It says uh, every drop of Shiner is brewed in Shiner, so Shiner is in I believe Shiner, Texas. Cool with the strawberries, the hand hand drawn strawberries, strawberry plants. Pretty neat. And this is made with Poteet Texas strawberries. It's ripe for the drinking. Poteet's a city in Texas, I guess, where they grow a lot of strawberries. It's good. I mean, it's refreshing, but the strawberry definitely helps it out. On the back it says, ripe for the drinking. <clears throat> The town, of, the town of Shiner, Texas, population 2069, that's a little town, is known for beer. The, time, the town of Poteet, Texas, population 3260, is known for strawberries. This summer, the best of both worlds have come together, and you're holding the result in your hand. Brewed with juicy, homegrown, homegrown strawberries from the strawberry capital of Texas, and a mix of pale and wheat malts for a crisp finish. This Shiner Strawberry Blondale is ripe for the drinking all summer long. Prost. On the bottom it says there's nothing finer. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm, I've been a fan of everything I've had from Shiner. It's always, it's nothing, it's, it's definitely not over the top and super, super craftish, but it's, um, but they do, they do a good job of the stuff that they put out. And this is no different. It's just, it's good, easy drinking with a hint of strawberry that kind of sets it apart. <clears throat> Talked about ranks and how I like, if I'm gonna rank a beer oh, in the fours at all, I like it to have a bit more complexity. And this beer definitely does not have a lot of comp complexity. Um, it was interesting to see this beer, and then uh, simultaneously the Abita Strawberry Lager was also available. 
so I got one of those too to test. And then I also got a Boulevard Jam Band. So we're going to have like a mini three part fruit beer series. I'm not usually a huge fan of fruit beers, but I, I, actually, I like grapefruit beers. But other fruit beers I'm not usually a huge fan of, but strawberry works. This is very reminiscent of that Peach Wicked Ale Strawberry Blonde. I wonder what ever happened to that, that company. I looked it up once and I, I couldn't really get any definitive uh, and I, I the definitive answers as to what happened to them. I don't think they were owned by one of the big guys, so I don't think it was like one of those names that they just kind of put on the shelf because it wasn't selling, but I could be mistaken. It's a good beer. It's a nice crescendo to the end of a long weekend. I'm enjoying this. I'm going to give this... I'm between a 3.5 and, and a 3.75. Just because of how simple the beer is, I would lean toward 3.75. But the strawberry... I mean 3.5. But the strawberry, I think, kicks it up to a 3.75. So I'm going to go with a 3.75. I'm looking forward to trying the other fruit beers we got in the fridge. But until then, cheers.